Hope you enjoyed today's reading. It is my first reading on YouTube. So um, let me know what you think and let me know in the comments if you like it. Also, make sure to go to lunaasheshop.com and join the newsletter for a bunch of um, coupons and a bunch of other cool stuff, including discount on jewelry. Okay and a lot of other cool healing modalities that I do for you. And you can also get a reading if you want one. I'll see you soon. Bye. And the Weaver Tarot is the tarot deck that I will be using. This is the front. And yeah, this is amazing. It's super beautiful. The packaging is just amazing. It has the guide cards and they're all like reflective. So they're just so cute. Okay, and so clear the deck, and I will also cleanse the deck with some incense, clear any energies or readings prior to this one. I am going to have us ground ourselves, whoever is watching this today. Let's ground ourselves and let's take, let's take three conscious deep breaths together. Go ahead and inhale and exhale, inhale. And exhale, inhale, and exhale. Thank you, Spirit of Unconditional Love and Light. We welcome all energies of love and light and the most highest vibration. What message do you have for the collective today? What's the message for the collective today? A bunch fell out right now. I'm gonna go ahead and put this on the side. And yeah, so let's get into this. Let's go with these first. These two. These three actually. So let me move that to the side. Okay. Here you go. So I'll put them in the center so you can see them. So these typically would be in the past, present, and future position. Uh, six of coins, seeker of coins, and ruler of coins. So we all have all coin cards. Coins in this deck is like the pentacles of the regular uh, tarot. We've collectively been givers in the past. We've always wanted to give and give and help and help others, um, especially as healers or people who want to heal others who have abilities um, or who are interested in that type of thing um, which I think this could be a that could be linked to the business endeavor of this person or of whoever is watching this video <laughs> collectively um, but in any case we have been generous um, in the past then in the present card we have the seeker of coins the seeker of coins in this the seeker of coins in this deck is like the page of pentacles in the traditional tarot deck so this is like like new opportunities you know the page is a young uh, a young earth sign <laughs> So, somebody who's dreaming 
has a lot of new opportunities and innocence. So right now there's a lot of opportunities for us to manifest all of our desires and all of our dreams and become the people that we want to become. We have the ability to do so. And we are progressing, as you can see. So, this is calling for an internal shift, definitely. Um, internal shift that's going to happen within us, that is currently happening within a lot of us. Especially having to do with money. Um, a lot of us have been trapped in a lack mentality in the past having to do with money and so now we are learning to heal those traumas and move past that so we're doing the healing here collectively which I think is just awesome <laughs> right if we all get rich because there's more than enough abundance is everywhere spirit says abundance is everywhere you have abundance all around you you just got to notice the energy and attune and align to that energy okay uh yes spirit thank you this is talking about finding a new level reaching a new level getting to that new level breaking through your boundaries your perceived boundaries of the past limitations that you believed for yourself that currently that doesn't align with you anymore that doesn't align with your beliefs you know and so you have to step up this is talking about nothing but abundance in your future there's abundance in our future and so we got another let's see four cards okay so you got another four cards and uh this one is the fool let's see the card oops let's see focus the fool the full represents um, new possibilities, new opportunities, new beginnings, starting new, being ambitious, feeling young and excited for life. Everything should be doing good. You should have no worries in life. So we're feeling like there's a fresh new start, like a breath of fresh air after feeling like we couldn't breathe for a while, you know? And so we're starting new beginning. We're turning over a new page. Okay, the Six of Wands. Then we got the Six of Wands here. And we got the Wheel of Fortune and Judgment. So the Wheel of Fortune and Judgment and the Six of Wands. The Fool is telling us that we have new beginnings and the Six of Wands says that those new beginnings are going to be very successful. It's going to bring a lot of abundance and a lot of um, success and everything that you have been through has not been in vain. You know, like you... All you're going to be seeing the fruits of your labor. Like you're going to be rewarded for past... Um, work that you've done be optimistic if there are any challenges that are currently that you're currently facing in the re in the current reality that you're in um, because you are destined for success um, judgment I feel like you're going to receive recognition for things that you've done in the past for something that you've done in the past um, so you're going to be receiving recognition for that. And also, I feel like it's talking about not judging yourself so much. Like, stop being so hard on yourself. That's the only thing that's holding you back, you know, if, if in any case. And um, the Wheel of Fortune says that this is a, per a time right now. This is a time where everything is magic. Everything that you touch is literally magic you can do anything we're d like in a portal and so be careful of what you think about you know stop judging yourself don't keep your don't make sure that you don't get sucked into negative thinking um do the work that you need to do to change that um but right now the wheel of fortune anything is possible is what i'm saying okay anything is possible some cards from the spell casting Oracle deck. Okay. 
clear the deck. And we're going to, oopsie. We're going to shuffle here. Spirit, there's two cards. Thank you, Spirit. Oops. Sorry, you guys, for all the movement. Alright, so we got a bunch of cards here. Let's see. So we got truth. Finding, <laughs> finding your truth. Um, you're going to be finding your own truth, stepping into your own identity and really embodying yourself. Finding the light within. Knowing that you have all the love and abundance and peace and prosperity and joy within you can't find it anywhere else so you're finding this truth about yourself and you're gonna embody embody it you're gonna find it and embody it like a goddess see this goddess she's transformed there's a butterfly right there butterflies that's one of my spirit animals I freaking love butterflies so butterflies uh, represent transformation you know because the butterfly goes into the cocoon and um, basically dies and transforms into something fucking beautiful, right? I mean, not that the caterpillar isn't beautiful, because I love caterpillars, they're so cute. Um, but you see, it just transforms into a new thing. That just shows you that things evolve, things change, and things transform. Energy doesn't die, you know, it's just transmuted. And so finding your truth, embodying your goddess self is what you're going to be doing. You're going to also be finding friendships. There's friendships in your future. I think you're somebody, some of you guys may be calling in your uh, spirit tribe. And so if you are calling in your spirit tribe, definitely you have friendships in your horizon. These are going to be beautiful friendships that are going to bring you lots of joy. They're going to be aligned to who you are presently are who you're choosing to become who you truly are they're going to be aligned to your truth but you have to be fully embodied in your truth for them to recognize you because that's how your tribe recognizes you by you letting your freak flag fly okay and um you got well-being take care of your well-being and forgiveness so your well-being is dependent a lot on forgiveness and letting go of the past, forgiving yourself for sleeping on yourself for so long, forgiving your mother for not being able to, you know, teach you about emotions or, or teach you certain things that you needed to know at the time, but people can only work from their current state of consciousness, and so we have to forgive. Um, and forgive ourselves and definitely take care of our well-being not only our mental health which forgiveness is big on mental health but um we're taking care of our physical body so your physical body make sure that you drink lots of water <laughs> and to get your exercise because movement is very 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 important and the card is going to be from the spiritual as fuck deck spirit what message do you have for the collective, for this reading, for the people that are watching this reading today? Okay, uh, we're, I just want one card. So, if a lot of cards pop out, I'm putting them back in. Okay, and these are, let's see how many cards popped out. All right, we'll just do all of them. So, be the change you wish to see up in this bitch. Okay? Be the change. If you want change in your life, you have to start by being about it. Okay? Be about it. And then you are it. Simple, right? Be that change. Um, gossip dies when it hits wise ears. So, some of y'all need to mind your own damn business, you feel me? Some of y'all is nosy, some of y'all be talking about other people. You know, something that I read one time said, small minds talk about other people. Okay, 
there's more productive, beautiful things to talk about than other people. And what people are doing is none of your business. All you need to be focusing on is your healing, okay, honey? The next one says, sometimes everything is going wrong for the right reasons. So, this is um, a card of surrender and trust. Knowing that everything is aligned and perfect, going perfectly, just the way that it's supposed to be going for your life path. And all paths lead home, you know. Sometimes we take little detours. <laughs> but sometimes everything seems like it's going wrong but it's going just right on time divine timing trust and believe and you shall receive okay um this one says your brain speaks total fuckery unless you turn your soul on so uh yeah your brain is a meaning making machine okay so it's a meaning making machine meaning that it's making meaning every single every single time that you um observe something look at something breathe whatever the fuck you're doing everything that you do uh, your brain is trying to make sense of it because that's what its job is that's what it does and so we have to get out of our head and get in touch with our hearts our hearts will lead us home okay our brain will just make us invent things that aren't there sometimes turn that brain off and get into your heart do meditation meditation is amazing your gut knows what's up. Trust that bitch. Okay. Back to the meditation. I just want to say, I do meditation every single day. It's. I feel like meditation is so, so important. There's not many things that I suggest to every single human being because I know everyone is different in their own way. And that's beautiful. But meditation honestly can help everyone. And there's so many types of meditation. It doesn't mean you just have to be standing still. It does not mean that you're just sitting there. You can do meditation where you're walking. You could do meditation in the shower. You could do so many different types um, and find the one that is right for you. But meditation really helps connect you to the divine presence that is within you. And if you're connected to the divine presence or God or whoever you believe in, then all is well because you are divinely guided and you will know what to do at every turn for your highest and greatest good. Anyway... <laughs> your gut knows what's up trust that bitch trust that bitch okay trust your gut trust your intuition your intuition is within you there's nothing to fear about your intuition you can trust yourself you can trust yourself trust your intuition i love you so much i hope this message finds you well i know this message finds you well you have many great things coming i'm so excited for you also, if you like these rings that I got on, or you like the bracelets as well, um, I have an online shop, lunaasheshop.com, and there you can find crystals, jewelry, healing herbs, lots of cool things, and I vend at different flea markets. I also do reiki and i do tarot readings so if you want to know all the details go to www.lunaasheshop.com i love you so much if this reading resonated in any way let me know in the comments please i would love to hear from you i love you mucho mucho love and light